Hi, I'm Shirley. Welcome to the Shirley Rider Show, where I'm going on a journey to find weird, wonderful and exciting things like surfing. I'm going to be talking to surfers at Mount Monganui Beach. I will be talking to magicians, I will be talking to musicians, artists, counsellors and healers and anything I can find for your viewing entertainment. Right, let's go. That's a tap dancing gear. Um, was, and that's you? It's me when I was 10, yeah. Oh, that's just I mean, when I was 14. So that's yeah. you at 14? Yeah. My two sisters, they were in Oh, wow. And telling Chris too. <laughs> but it was a voice from the church. Oh, right. And they said, oh, well, my mother said, well, you know, we're having a social on Wednesday night at the church. Would you and the boys like to come along? I'd only just met them. Yep. On the weekend. And so on Wednesday night we went along to the church and did this thing and it was quite funny actually but I don't know what the church were expecting but um, so we come on to, to, to lick the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was really cool. Mm. And so we decided then that we were going to have a band. Yeah. Awesome. So that would have been 1970, 71. Mm a long, long time ago. That was the first time, Chris. He's gone yeah. from, for, from Wanganui. Oh. Conservative estimate, they used to call himself. And that was the first time I'd ever picked up a mic. Wow. And it was in the opera house in Palmy. Yes. And they said, okay, so I was thinking, what the fuck is that me? <laughs> you get a good mm. acoustic, you know? Mm. And, oh, geez, that sounds bloody good. Mm. And so I got a bit of confidence there, mm, you know. Mm. And it, you know how it is, you go to do a gig, and if you sound great on mm. those first few, you know, pump it, if you sound shitty, mm. well, you, mm. you want to climb, climb under the desk. That was an Italian quest. Okay, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Well dressed, eh? Where did you get first? Oh, that one didn't get anywhere. The, guy, oh, the, the guys, that, that band there. Yeah. They said, oh, just turn up, we'll follow you. But we are joking. <laughs> well, I, the, the song I was singing, I didn't think it was hard. Yeah. But they kind of did, were lost, and I was lost, and didn't do well at all. That was at the Albert in about 1973. In Palmerston North? Yeah. Yes. About 1973. Wow. I wish I had some of that here now. <laughs> this was in the Albert and Willow. I look half pissed there, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look fine. This is before. This is the first. We were Ebony there. Yes. And then some guys in Wellington called Ebony as well, put out a, a single, and so we changed the name. Ah. And we became Willow. Willow. And it's so that, when <coughs> Richard came knocking on yes. my door on a Saturday morning, and I didn't realise at the time but I had met him before yeah and he came knocking and he said oh hi I'm Richard and uh, I want to be the drummer in your band I said oh <laughs> okay <laughs> come in <laughs> let's yeah. talk about it and uh, <clears throat> very entrepreneurial Richard yep he's done very well yeah and very very um, ambitious mm. so he we were there for 18 months or I was there for 18 months yep. in the band and then when I decided, because when we, when we... That's you on the end, out of the watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. When, I think that was New Year's Eve. Mm. Right. And we, um, when we first got together... Yep. Um, we were all young married guys. Mm-hmm. Now, 18 months later, I was the only young married guy there. Wow. What do you and think was the cause of that? Boys get a bit carried away from the rock star. Is thing. that is that Richard Wilde there? What his name is? Yeah. Yeah, Richard Wilkinson actually, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 Oh, just sure and I was yep. wedding. As my daughter, she played with us or sang with us in the band for a year. Yep. Which is only fourteen. 
She's too, way too young, you're shy and everything. But yeah. you know Ross Schilling at all? Yes. Is Ross going to the background there? Touching a straight. Oh, he is too. Yeah, I'll yeah. oh, zoom yeah. around. There he is. Early, early broken toys. Yeah. Gone sexy, is he? Oh, who's that on the sax? A um, guy called Tony Smith. Okay, I don't know him. No. Um, it's another couple of girls I sang with a few years ago after mm -hmm. we got out of the big band stuff. Well, proper band stuff, we just did backing tracks and there's a couple yep. of girls that I sang with. Oh, you know, um, Tasha. Yes. I don't know what you're doing with her face there. Mel. Oh, I remember Mel. <clears throat> yep. Her and I were together for about 10 years. Wow. And um, it was brilliant. Mel and I going to playing at a Kiwiana night. Yep. <laughs> well, Mel and I did a, um, a gig for them at the Omagura Boat Club. Rena and Warwick is her husband, mm -hmm. and they had a combined birthday party. And they got Mel and I to come along and be the entertainment. And um, it was good, great night. Yep. And then about a week later, a guy rang me and he said, he said, Rod, he said, yeah. Dave Wilson, I said, yeah, go, yeah, mate. Yeah. He said, um, just, just bringing you, he said, you know, Lisa and I got a theatre company, and I said, yeah, I sort of did, you know. He said, we're doing a production of the film, aren't you? Are you familiar with the thing? I said, yeah. And he said, uh, want to know if you want to be part of it? And I said, well, if we want, we want you to be one of the lead characters. And I said, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> and he said, have you ever done any stage work? I said, no. Pardon me. And he said, well, do you want to come along and have a chat about it? So we went along and he gave us a, a script, a big thick book. Mm. And I had a bit of a look and I saw, you know, I opened the first few pages. Oh, yeah, I could handle that all right. Mm. I thought that was the only bit I had. Yep. But if I'd have kept reading, I would have seen it. I was yeah. like, the whole bloody show. But anyway, I'm sure I said, you're not going to go in that. You've got a strip and all that. <laughs> and I said, well... I know Dave and Lisa, they're really nice people, and I'm sure it would be done tastefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and it, and, it, and it did, and it was really, really bloody good. It was cool. It was at Bay Court. Yeah. And uh, probably one of the best things I've ever, ever done.